guys welcome back to my channel today is day number 580 part 7 of trying to finish this cabin all right guys this doesn't feel right but it needs to be done So I need to tape all this nonsense. I need to clean this first. spray paint and see how it goes it's really windy so we'll see I'll just put like first layer and then I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll put another layer so probably three to four coats if everything goes well So I got the first coat of spray paint on the vinyl. Uh, so I still got to do two more coats. And I'm being very careful just because it's really windy. Uh, and the spray paint is kind of flying all over the place. Uh, like here. We forgot to do it at the bottom. And it kind of sprayed over the pine wood. So I learned my lesson. Now we got this protection. Um, so yeah, that's it. I got two more on that side. I gotta put at least the first coat in, but I don't know if I could get all three coats in. Uh, so, but I'll keep trying.
All right, guys, so I am officially done with the first coat of spray painting on all the windows. Um, so um, it looks pretty good. Don't mind all the taping. Uh, I overdid it, like I said before. It's mainly because I'm using spray paint um, and it's windy and I noticed that um, some of the spray paint is kind of spreading really quickly to the walls so I just wanted to kind of overdo it uh, so yeah but I just need to put probably two more coats to make sure and that's it and we're still trying to figure out the front as far as why certain areas are not even um, uh, let me show you guys because I don't think last time I actually went over so right up here the first problem is so you see this wall it doesn't match here so which is I'm okay I'm okay with it it's whatever um, but then when it reaches up here uh, right on top of that window uh, frame the the board sticks out like two inches but over here it's flushed with the window so we're gonna have to do some major brainstorming and figure this out um, but I don't know we're gonna have to sit on it till we figure out because I I really don't want to take all these boards out and redo them so and this is what I was telling you guys spray paint kind of spread over here uh, but it was too late by the time I realized it so I'm gonna have to clean that up and figure out all right let me show you guys uh, one last thing all this mess Never mind this. This will, this will improve with time. Um, we got our receptacle. That's a good thing because now we can plug stuff in. We don't have to worry about that. Um, the panel is, it's ready, but it's not. All the wires are not connected yet, so but all this those are all the wires need to be connected right now we're just connecting what we need uh, because we're not rushing electrical work that's for sure uh, like i said we want to do it right uh, and once drywall goes up we don't want to keep changing stuff up so that's it uh, nothing new on the inside um, it's just right now we just store stuff here and um, so I, I can't wait for you guys to finally see this place when it's done uh, God knows when but um, we have to finish a lot of stuff outside before we could work on the inside I mean even though we are working on the inside, but it's just not to the point that it's going to be complete because we have a lot of um, a lot of problems that is out of our control. So, but let me know if you guys have. Oh, the one of one of the dilemmas we're having is figuring out the stairs for the loft we were gonna just do us like a normal uh, what do you call it? stringers uh, I guess but if we were to do it because it's so high the stairs will come all the way against this wall it will have to be at least it'll be two feet away from the wall and it's gonna look really ugly it's gonna take a lot of space the other option we were looking at was spiral stairs they're a little pricey but it will just come straight down and it's gonna look good but they're they're expensive they're about 
Last one I checked for the for the height and all that, it's about average two thousand dollars. If we were to just do regular steps with you know I don't know two by sixes um, or two by eight, it would probably cost us maybe I don't know five hundred dollar with everything. So that's another dilemma that I need to figure out. We're gonna remove this. Originally, we're just gonna drywall it and paint it and look all that, but the whole point of this cabin being with all these windows is the view uh, the, and the just feeling, oh, uh, the feeling of just open space and everything. To put a just drywall up there and close it up, it's just gonna look really ugly, especially if there's people sleeping up there. So let me know if you guys have any idea. Um, the one of the ideas I had was <laughs> um, to just use the cedar um, for the deck that we use, these railings. Just use the same ones. Um, the only difference is just paint these and then use it for the interior. It will just go all across there it's about 24 feet uh we need at least uh what a 36 to 42 inches for the steps or whatever but the rest will be at least i don't know six feet six times three so so yeah the plan was to use the same deck railing for the interior and then just painted i mean you won't know the difference so but yeah, these are a lot of ideas we've been working with. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about everything uh, that's going on, I guess. Uh, but but let me know. Uh, what do you guys think? We have a lot of work ahead of us. Um, Sometimes it's discouraging and we're not about to just give up just because things are getting hard. So just stay tuned and uh, thank you guys for your patience. Um, and again, you know, I come here once a week for eight hours and I live an hour, 30 minutes away from this property. So you guys do the math. Um, <laughs> I don't spend more than seven hours here unless it's a day that I have to stay for some odd reason. Uh, so today goal was to get some kind of power inside so we could plug in and we don't have to use the generator and finish the windows because all the scaffolding uh, stuff that you see over there uh, <laughs> they're not safe I keep telling you guys but uh, I I mean it just just don't try any of this on your own okay uh, there's there's probably 10 uh, 10 uh, different safer ways to accomplish um, but like I said like all of this stuff is borrowed from our neighbor so he was kind enough to, to at least let us borrow it because if I were to go to a rental place it would have cost probably a thousand dollars for just a couple of weeks and I've been borrowing this for almost two months uh, all this and he keeps bringing more stuff he brought this in last week because uh, this area we can fit the larger uh, scaffolding thing so he brought that um, but yeah I have some good neighbors here maybe I'll introduce uh, them to you guys one day if they feel comfortable being in front of the camera well, that's it Oh, and for those of you who guys uh, are still watching, before I say goodbye, let me show you guys the rest of this uh, disaster project or the next build. Uh, so as you guys know, we were trying to build a geodesic dome. Uh, on top of this platform. It's a 26 by 26 deck uh, Unfortunately, everything is on hold because it's unsafe and it was built 
really terrible. So, uh, yes, it's pending lawsuit, uh, but it's just civil, so <laughs> nobody's gonna get rich off of this. It's just a matter of principle, I guess, at this point. Um, but yeah, this is a shit show of a deck. Uh, so I guess you live and learn. So stay tuned. I'm not doing anything with this anymore. Um, we're just gonna sit on it till after winter. I'm gonna have to find a way to cover it because it's not uh, protected from the weather and the elements, I guess. So that's it. I do love the cabin. It came with a lot of headaches, but it's turning out to be really beautiful and it will have a great experience for people who actually come in, uh, stay in this uh, Airbnb cabin. Uh, but this will be still beautiful. It's just gonna take a little longer now. So it's uh, everything kind of clearing up. Now you, are, you guys will be able to see through the trees and just to kind of give you guys a little short tour um, I don't want to make this video too long um, so that's like the entrance of a shared driveway that goes all the way up that's my driveway coming in uh, the shipping container kind of is the boundary um, for the property I'll have more drone footage next time for you guys it's just too windy to fly my drone today but I would say this is maybe an acre and a half that we're trying or we've been trying to clear and it still looks like we haven't touched anything um, <laughs> and this is a 10 acre lot so another seven to eight acres is in the back that I haven't even walked. All I know is where my property line is and that's it. So maybe one day I'll give you guys a <laughs> more in-depth uh, tour. Uh, this place is still a mess. Uh, this is going to be another whole ordeal to go through. Um, oh, uh, let me kind of share you guys. Let me share some ideas I have. So this is the side of the cabin or whatever so as you come in you're gonna have your own driveway the parking will be right here we'll have probably three to four parking spaces right here and uh, also uh, I mentioned it last week's post I believe we're gonna add uh, electric vehicle charging right here so People who have electric vehicles and they're worried about uh, going somewhere in the wilderness um, not be able to charge their vehicle well now they can so right on this side we'll have a fireplace uh, I'm just I'm just thinking ahead and kind of letting you guys know what the plan is uh, so so be a huge fireplace right here and then this will be a, a pergola and inside of it uh, we'll place a hot tub like at least a four person hot tub um, or six uh, so stay tuned for that uh, fireplace there will be some outdoor games like uh, horseshoe and a few other games that we're thinking to add for like an outdoor experience uh, even though we want people to stay in the cabin and enjoy we don't want them to just sit and watch TV or whatever so we do want to have some games and things to do outdoor and kind of experience the nature uh, just a little bit because you could always watch TV get on Netflix and all that good stuff but you know a lot of people don't have property like this to come out and kind of enjoy um, so I, the whole point of this business plan and, and this Airbnb venture that we're taking is, is we're implementing things that we want to do when we go to an Airbnb 
and we're hoping that any family that can go will, will enjoy it. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts, suggestions to add something that's not gonna cost an arm or a leg, but it'll bring out a um, great experience for people and so they can enjoy. So that's it. I think this video is long enough. Uh, I don't wanna bore you guys to death, but uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one.